everyone. My name is Angelica Dominich and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. Today I would like to talk to you about changing the data type of a custom column, a column you've created, using the M query, also known as the M or the mashup language inside of Power Query. So the reason that we're going to take a look at this is as you are going through and getting into that data shaping phase in your Power BI data model. So you're building out your report, you've connected the data, now you need to clean it up. As you go through all of the different transforms and steps inside of the Power Query Editor that you need to do to clean up your Power BI report um, and get it ready for reporting, you're getting that ready there and you're adding in all these steps. So wouldn't it be nice if we could just go in, create that custom column, and change the data type in one step? Well, we can. And that's what we're going to take a look at here now. So here I have a data set containing information regarding different airlines and airline performance. So we have some state population data, which also includes the state abbreviation data here. On this query here, we have our airline containing the airline key code, the airline long name, as well as the short name. On the airport query here, we also have some additional columns containing information about the airports, the city, state, as well as the airport name, country, and region. And so on this query here, let's say that we needed to create a new column here, or we wanted to create a new column here that we could then use in our data model. And so let's say we wanted to concatenate our airport key column here and the region column. So from the top of our ribbon here, we'll select add column and then let's just select custom column. We're going to call this our, uh, our airport index column here, just something really simple, not super creative. And then we're gonna go ahead and concatenate these columns. And this is really easy to do here in the custom column window. We can select the columns we want to concatenate. So I'm gonna start with airport key and I'm gonna hit insert. And then we'll go ahead and type out our ampersand here to concatenate. And then we'll select our second column here and then insert. Now it says no syntax errors have been detected. Let's hit okay and let's see our new column. And we have an error. So the reason that we're seeing an error here is Power Query is not going to be able to concatenate these two columns. And we can take a look at here if we select this here now. So we can see the error here. It's not going to work when there are two different data types. So we have a number column and we have a text column here. So let's go ahead here now. I'm going to go back and let's take a look at this here inside of that custom column step. So I'm going to open this back up by going to my applied steps pane and hitting that gear icon there. So what we can do is we can use some of the M function. So there's a ton of different functions here in M and I'm going to include a link to some documentation from Microsoft that has a list of all of the different functions that you can take a look at and that you can test out here as you're working in Power Query and working with M. But we know and we can see here that our airport key is a number column and our airport, our region uh, column, excuse me, is a text. So what we want to do here is we want to change this to, from number, and we'll type this in here, to text. So we'll go ahead and select number to text there using that helper so we can avoid as many typos and mistakes as possible. Put our parentheses there around the column we want to apply this to, and then let's select OK. And there we have it. We'll see our new column there. But Let's say that we weren't sure of the column datum data type, excuse me. Um, we can go back in here and there's another function that we can use. And so I'm going to replace our number to text here with the function that I'm referring to and it's text.from. And now using text.from is going to allow you to change the data type of this column to whatever it currently is, ours is currently a number, and it's we don't have to remember what it is. It's gonna automatically change it and make sure that it matches this region column here. 
So um, I would hit OK, but it's going to show us the same thing. So the text up from co uh, function is a great function to use, and it makes it super easy to change your data types here using M to keep it simple, to keep those steps limited there in the applied steps pane. Because as you know, as you go through cleaning up your data model here in the Power Query Editor, you can have a lot of steps that start to add up and get listed out in the Applied Steps pane. So any chance we get to minimize those and to you know uh, combine steps here is a great thing for us to do. So we're working a little bit smarter here and we're minimizing the amount of steps we have in that pane just so we're not getting confused there with all of the different steps that we have. All right, thank you for joining me here in this video. If you want more content from us here at Pragmatic Works or just to stay up to date with us here on our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. But if you're interested in learning more from us here at Pragmatic Works, we have lots and lots of different courses available on our on-demand learning system on Power BI, as well as DAX, Azure, Power Automate, Power Apps. So make sure to check out the link in the description below to see what we have available on our on-demand learning system. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.